Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to address a video where yours truly showed up for about 10 seconds. Now, listen, I don't like clipping people. I think it's a shoddy version of journalism. Here's what I mean. A clip without a context serves as a hit piece to drive somebody's narrative. Okay, so for those who have made a conclusion about me or you think you know something about Goldbridge, but you've never actually looked into it, I would caution you to make sure you do your due diligence. Literally, use your critical brain of yours and stop interpreting seeing a clip and, and doing this guilt by association. They see the name Jonathan or my partner Mike, they see you on a CoffeeZilla video, the headliner says half a billion dollars lost and immediately the trolls come out and they show their true colors. They show their lack of intelligence and they show that they do have literally no critical reasoning ability. And that honestly depresses me. So I wanted to come on here and not address the trolls because the trolls you'll never convince because they're not reasonable. In order to talk to someone reasonably, they have to show demonstration that they're reasonable persons. Now, I think that this YouTuber is a great YouTuber. I think he does a great job of doing investigative journalism. Sadly, he did get a couple facts wrong, and I do think it's important that I show up and respond. Now, is it my desire to respond to this type of content? Absolutely not. I just want to talk about my journey in DeFi, the different projects I get in. But I want to pose to you a question. Is Tom Brady a scam artist? Is Meet Kevin, maybe you know him. What about Mr. Wonderful? What about Steph Curry from the NBA? Weren't these guys part of promoting a Ponzi? So it would be accurate to say Tom Brady promoted a Ponzi. Therefore, Tom Brady is a Ponzi promoter. It makes for a good headline. But for reasonable people, people that have critical minds, they would say there's got to be more to the story. You guys saw it. A lot of celebrities got duped into this protocol, not a protocol, a huge company called FTX, Sam Bakeman Freed. He told them one thing, but he did another. And even guys like Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank that did their due diligence couldn't see what was on the other side of the books. Similar to that, this is a story of Mike telling me about an investment opportunity he was in. I said, tell me about it. He said, well, it's an offshore brokerage, so it's super high risk. Trading is involved, and this guy trades with gold. I said, well, you look, man. If you've seen my channel, I get, in, I get into all sort of crazy stuff because with crypto and me, I have high risk tolerance, so I gave it a shot. So Mike and I both went in with six figures into this PAM account. Now, Mike, over the course of time, we started saying, should we bring this to our communities. Mike had a YouTube channel at the time, no longer does that, so his channel's removed. Again, his channel's removed not out of response to seeing himself on video, that's, that's a misnomer. And by the way, the Goldbridge videos that you're like, oh, did they remove the videos? Those videos had been removed for months. When a project, we, we, we sold out memberships. And at that point, we didn't leave the content up because we didn't wanna get hit up, hey, can I get in this? Hey, can I get in this? So those videos have been down for a while. That's not me ducking or hiding. So again, this is where you have to come to, the, sadly, I have to make content like this to respond. By the way, if you haven't seen this, before his video was released, Mike and I did what we said we're gonna do, which is give monthly updates to all the Goldbridge members. We've done that, and we'll continue to do that as we have new information. Stick around in this video because Ted, the master trader, the guy behind Trader's Domain, has responded to that video, and I'm going to read you what he said. Now, this is my response, and I want you guys to be able to have that. You can pause the video so that you can read it. You'll get a greater understanding of what Goldbridge is, the full context, how what was my involvement. I encourage you guys to read this and uh, you know, read it before you do it for yourself. Learn to become um, a critically minded person um, and doing due diligence. Don't, this is what I hate about the mainstream media, right? I remember I just saw recently LeBron James, uh, I was watching the NBA and he accidentally ran into a referee. The referee had a bloody mouth. Well, 
within hours, that headline showed up on Fox News and CNN. And I was it was interesting to see how these headlines were written. The headline said LeBron James bloodies a ref. Now, a lot of people that don't read the story are going to read the headline and associate that LeBron James lost his cool. In the same way, people might associate Tom Brady scammed a bunch of people. But when you do your due diligence, you understand that, of course, LeBron James, it was an accident. And of course, Tom Brady, Mr. Wonderful Steph Curry. It, it's, it never ceases to amaze, amaze me, though, that regardless of the facts, there will always be a sector of trolls. And I want you to be aware of them. You should call them out. Call them to a greater degree of intelligence and understanding. So with that said, I want to continue with what's happened. So we, uh, Mike and I, were part of this uh, PAM account, which, by the way, right now, currently, um, I'm in all sorts of PAM accounts that other people have invited me into. And maybe you are, too. By the way, have you ever watched someone on YouTube talk about a project, a stock, Maybe it's Pepe, maybe it was Dogecoin, maybe it was Elon tweeting, and they've recommended something, or it sounds to you like they have an opinion about something that's going really well. Maybe somebody talks about Bitcoin, maybe they highlight where it's going to go and what they, they share their opinions publicly. I want you right now to pause the video, go to YouTube, and just type in stock recommendations, type in crypto recommendations, type in any popular projects type in like for instance i was in a project called drip drip is pure ponzinomics so anybody that talks about drip i guess we could say they're promoting a ponzi now you have to decide whether or not that's ethical or not um that's up to you if someone knows that something is a ponzi and doesn't disclose that that to me is where it becomes unethical does it matter that Mike and myself had zero information on what was actually happening behind the scenes of Trader's Domain? If you have bad intent and you try to lure people into something for your own personal financial gain, I think that's horrible. That is not what happened. And I think it's important you hear it from me. So back to... How did Goldbridge get going? Well, after about three months being in this and doing and testing live withdrawals, Mike followed all the live trades on MetaQuotes, on MetaTrader, whatever. Uh, we, it was all documented. So he's like, this is phenomenal. It's amazing. And by the way, thousands of people were in this at this time. So we realized that there'd be risk. So what we did is we thought, okay, if people, people, we already were getting hit up because I was telling people about it as, as you would. Have you ever told somebody like, hey, this is going really well, but by the way, there's a ton of risk. So we thought, okay, let's just make this a, a public thing. We'll, we'll give it a name. But it, again, it's not our thing. It's a PAM account. And it, and it mirrored the, the trades of this master trader, this master trader that you're going to see in this series coming up. Uh, his name is Ted. Well, uh, so we did that, but we wanted to limit it because we didn't want to go after just every little, you know, person that saw our video. In fact, we wanted to limit it to about 500 people. And we did that and we thought, let's make this a membership uh, sacrifice so that the people that are a part of this will get all these perks. They got my course, Mike's course, all that, and, and uh, Mike's training and trading and all that. So it was all bundled together and it gave people an opportunity to sacrifice into this. Now, if you're interested, you can see our terms of services. Every person, we made sure that they were aware of all the risks. Um, and that's the stuff that needs to show up in the next clip, is every video that we ever did on this, we overemphasize that this is a sacrifice. Think about Richard Hart, and, and, and literally the definition is um, to have zero expectations of profit. Because we didn't want to be you know, well, what you what you guys told us this? You told no, no, no. Go watch any one of our clips uh, or our videos. Um, any Goldbridge member knows this. By the way, our Goldbridge members, we've had zero issues with any of them because they know who Mike and I are, and I appreciate them so much. They understand the risk. They signed a terms sheet of agreement, um, and 
and and I say all that not because the outcome isn't sucky right now. It is. By the way, the outcome is still unknown. Uh, we understand a lot of people feel like this is a Ponzi. But again, I'll read you Ted's statement. Ted is the guy behind Trader's Domain, which is the offshore brokerage where our funds are. All funds are accounted for. So the idea that like we got paid when people came in or we made money off their no, that is not true. It's not accurate. So if this is if I'm a scammer, uh, as I read from some some trolls, um, where is the money? You know, uh, usually if you scam, you end up making money. I, that's just not the case. Now, there may be other sponsors who work directly with Ted uh, for a lot longer and a lot deeper than we did. That's on them, please. And this is what I didn't like about this video is we showed up as uh, in the part of uh, literally there's probably thousands of, or hundreds of sponsors. We showed up because I'm a public figure. I have content. A lot of these sponsors didn't or they wiped their videos or whatever. But I'll let them speak for themselves. I'm not here to throw stones. I'm here to just tell you exactly what happened. So unfortunately, I didn't get um, I, I didn't get the opportunity to talk to this person uh, and, and to share the full story. And, and I guess that's how you end up getting clipped. But I'm here full transparency telling you the full story so that you can decide you can decide like am i am i a shady character am i a bad person am i a scammer did i promote a ponzi again did tom brady promote a ponzi or did we invite others into something that was working really really well for us now what happened i don't know i really don't know and that's what's been frustrating I think, and this is again speculation, I think real trading was happening. I think that um, Ted is, he's known as a trader. I think showing the trades and all that was a wonderful way of being fully transparent. It's what gave us confidence, but at the same time, that confidence wasn't portrayed on video as much as it, every time we said, look at guys, this is going really well, it's going really well, but at any time, and that's the clip you might hear. But at any time, it couldn't go well. So risk capital only. We always preach that. And, and go watch any of my videos. Seriously, go watch them. Find one video where I am saying, this is going to the moon, guys. We are going to be rich off. You won't find it. My channel is called The FUD Farm because what I tend to do and why I created this channel was to overemphasize fear, uncertainty, and doubt in any of these crypto opportunities. Why? Because as long as crypto is unregulated, you're going to end up with a lot of rug pulls, a lot of scams, or people saying one thing and doing another. Now, I want to get to the part where Ted today responded to uh, this video and gave his two cents. Now, some of you might think it's bullcrap. <laughs> That's for you to decide. I'm with you. I don't know what to believe, who to believe. This is what's been frustrating over the past, I don't know, six months. So, um, let me let me read you his comment and then I'll, and then I'll respond. This is uh, just today. This is Ted. He's the guy behind Traders Domain. This is again where Mike and I sent our crypto, and it's where people in Goldbridge that said, "Hey, we want to join you." That's where all of our funds are there. Uh, when we created Goldbridge, there was a membership opportunity, and that was to create a vault. All those funds are also in Traders Domain, and Mike. And Goldbridge members know because we've publicly done a video where we show the funds in Mike's Traders Domain account. So this account was set up under under Mike. The funds are setting right there, um, so that everyone can know it's not like we're getting withdrawals secretly or anything like that. So nobody's accusing us of that, which I'm super grateful for. But it's because we're fully transparent. We're not hiding anything. All right, read this. So Ted says, I will give a quick note about a video that is surfacing that I think everyone has gathered popcorn to watch. It was a very well polished film, lots of the theatrical merit. And, and that's for sure. He definitely does a great job with that. Um, there are inaccuracies, though, such as 470K percent. If the author had done the research that number inflates or deflates based on transactions in and out of the account so withdrawals deposits as well as gains then there was a discussion of 650 million bot once again inaccurate because it's related to another platform and many people already knew that 
in addition, people haven't lost money. Okay, this is, again, the guy behind Trader's Domain is saying people haven't lost money. So that would make the YouTuber completely inaccurate saying that this is somehow a scam and that people have. It's like going to a baseball game, it's the fifth inning, and you're already telling the story that we lost. Now, I'm super skeptical. I tend to think there's something crazy going on here. I'll give you my opinion. Again, I think there was real trades happening. Maybe he lost trades or maybe the liquidity providers didn't execute it at the right time. They lost the funds. He's in a battle with them. Uh, it, it, all sorts of things could happen. Again, the way I work, guys, is I don't like to speak on things unless I have the facts. I think that's how any critically minded person acts. You know, it's like when you see a shooting or whatever and people just, you see the news, they speculate and then they got to retrace. Sometimes they don't even retrace their words. I'm not that guy. I want to wait for the facts to be clear and then and then I'll give my opinion. But when the facts are this muddy, it's like I don't know what's going on. And I hope that people like our YouTuber friend does get to the bottom of this. That That's why I'm so grateful. Uh, months ago, I, I knew that he'd be a part of uh, doing this investigation. And we couldn't be more excited because think about it. All of my money is tied up in Trader's Domain. All of Mike's money, all of the people in Goldbridge. We want answers, okay? We were scammed. Now, it's one thing to think we are part of the scam. That That's just not true. It's stupid if you think that. Like, what evidence do you have of that? That's just silly. Um, but again, you cannot stop the trolls. Trolls will troll. Haters hate. It's what they do. Their lack of significance in this world, their lack of joy, they, they have to just hate on people without facts, without evidence. And then other trolls follow and they comment and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they pile up. It reminds you of being in high school, with school bullies. I don't do that anymore. Uh, I never did, actually. I was never the bully. If anything, I was the guy that got bullied. Anyways, okay. In addition, people haven't lost money. Payments are still going out daily. Okay. Payments are going out daily. They are showing that. They are verifying that. Um, believe it or not, you know. It says these are delays with the new company launching. So, I guess Trader's Domain got sold to another company, thus the delays. That's the story. How do I verify that? How do you verify? How do we not know that's not true? Again, fifth inning of a baseball game. I don't want to make my conclusions just yet. Um, and so it says, and yes, it's taken six weeks. We already, already with no clear response. And yes, follow-up has been done. And yes, everything, everything in everyone's power is being done to expedite this. I'm not asking anyone to agree or disagree with information. Again, this is from Ted, guys. I just asked that if things are posted, they should be accurate, okay? We can all agree that. If you're gonna post something, well, it depends. If you want views in a, in a hit piece, then just post without all the facts. That That's how you get views and clicks and, and build a following. But if you truly value your integrity, then wait for the facts to come in. He says, I don't care for YouTube. Uh, and then this continues here. Where does he say? And yes, everything and everyone, da, 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 I don't care for YouTube, but I know a lot of people can easily be persuaded or shocked when information is presented in a certain way. And I just learned that too. My face shows up in a CopyZilla video and all of a sudden, this story that has been fully documented, we've been transparent, we do monthly updates. It seems as if to those that are on the outside, like oh, we didn't know this was going, it seems like it becomes like fresh to them. There's nothing fresh here. There's We've been talking about this with our community in our in their in our discord, which has always been active and we have a telegram group. OK, now we've limited it to members only as anyone would. Can you imagine after a video like that's posted and we open up the discord to all the people like that's just stupid. You know why? Because you don't have to be a genius to know every troll and their grandma is going to come in your discord and just be act like act like a moron. It's just the it's the way of the internet. So we got to dissuade people in today's world because people aren't interested in facts. They just love clips. All right. So um, and for the last time, I'm not sitting on half a billion dollars under my bed. I don't have 15 cars, 30 homes. Anyone who knows I don't like flying. I hate designer clothes because I can't justify paying more for the same material. I find another <laughs> withdrawals will continue. Withdrawals will continue as they always do. And trading will continue once the new company 
officially takes over. So that is the words from Ted. He's the master trader. He's the guy behind Trader's Domain. If you believe him, great. Some people do, some people don't. I don't know what to believe. That's where I lie. It's sad. And it's, it's the lesson learned for me here is, you know, well, again, it, the lesson has always been there because anytime I got into any crypto project, I treat my crypto plays totally different than I do like buying Apple or buying Tesla. The crypto is casino money. It's risk capital. Now I put in six figures. So it was, it was with me waiting a long time. Can you imagine getting in day one and then launching a project? Hey guys, this is amazing. It's going great. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. I was in it for like three months with Mike <laughs> doing our due diligence. We understood, we tested withdrawals, like, and, and maybe things were going great up until that point. Maybe six months in, everything's great. Like the real trading, there's nothing shady going on. Again, maybe he lost a trade and doesn't want to take an L. Maybe the liquidity provider in him, there's a, something, an issue that happened there. There's all sorts of stories and speculations. Ted claims that all the funds are there and safe and eventually we're all going to get our withdrawals. That's the claim, but you've been in crypto long enough. We know people say things that just aren't true. So I hope this video has helped shape context. Hope you don't think I'm coming across any way other than empathetic to those that are in Goldbridge or to those that are inside Trader's Domain. There are thousands of more people that have been affected outside of our little Goldbridge thing, which is why it's funny that they showed my face, but it makes, it makes sense that they show my face because all the other pay faces aren't on YouTube. So you got a clip, you got to show, I, I wish, I mean, think about all the clips he could have showed. Guys, this is going to be a complete gamble play. This is a sacrifice. You need, if, if you join, you need to, he could have showed any of those clips. He chose the clip where I said, guys, it's not like this, this isn't a Ponzi. That's like my clip. It's like, well, hindsight's 2020. And to do that, it's a little like, it's a cheap shot, right? It's like going to Tom Brady, clipping him uh, a commercial that he's talking about FTX. And it's like, it's a low blow, but I get it. It serves your narrative and clipping helps tell a story. So it is what it is. Um, but I, I honestly am very sorry for anybody that is in Goldbridge. I obviously Monday morning quarterback hindsight's 2020. Had I known what I know now, like we've all been in that place, like, and you can throw a stone at me if you feel like you need to, but I would just ask like, have you ever been in something that was going really well and told a friend about it and then it went south? I don't know. I, I mean, if you go to YouTube right now, I, I just wonder if there's other people out there that, that do that. Um, for instance, people who promoted FTX, okay? I know all these guys, Andrew, me, Kevin, uh, Graham, Stefan, are, are these scums? Notice the headline here, the scums who promoted FTX. I don't know who this person is, but the audacity to just label someone a scum. Oh, wait a minute. This is YouTube, so we can get away with it. I get it. Again, you won't find crap like that on my channel because you should have integrity. YouTube gurus who promoted it. Tom Brady. Look at this. Steph Curry. Um, there he is. My response. So if Graham Stephan does a response video to stuff, I thought I better better at least come on here. Kevin O'Leary on why he invested in FTX. Uh, is Kevin Leary a bad investor now? Is he a bad person? Um, let's type in right here. Uh, let's type in drip. This is a DeFi protocol. Drip network. Can't even spell. Look at all these people. Drip new eyes finally here. Mega bullish. The drip network. Um, drip network. Drip. All these people right here are promoting a Ponzi. Wow, I can't believe it. The next drip bull run starts tomorrow. Wow, is drip coming back? I mean, let's wait, maybe maybe this is just drip. Let's just type in um, stocks to buy now. Look at that, YouTube allows for this? Why is YouTube being allowed? Is it time and just load it up on this? Seven stocks to buy now, financial education. Let's look how big his channel is. Wow, 719 subscribers. That's crazy. Now, does he have other channels? Oh, wow, look at this. He really does. Um, makes money, clips. So YouTube allows the expression underneath the Publishers Act for you to speak freely on your opinion. Um, 
you know, if you look into this, there's a reason why YouTube doesn't pull these videos down and why you don't see um, four stocks to buy in June. Look at this guy. I mean, what if he recommended a stock to me and I went into it and I lost money? I'm going after this guy. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Does any other channel do this in the U.S.? I know you might be watching. CNBC, Jim Crater, Jim Cramer. Oh, my gosh. All day there's a channel that promotes and talks about stocks and what what's what they think is going to go up what yeah they do under the publishers act i i assume so uh let's type in uh penny stocks what about this is there any scam artists on here oh look at these horrible people the scum right uh <laughs> it's i don't think that i think it's just people that are excited about what they're in talking about it the only problem i have is when people don't disclose the risk you have to as a youtuber be responsible in any of these projects you know whether you're in a pro a protocol that you know is is like a game that lasts 24 hours to three days or whatever or if you're in something like drip which has lasted a couple years but nonetheless there is no outside revenue coming in if you do ever claim in drip you are taking someone else's exit liquidity what about pepe let's do pepe now, people will do videos on Pepe talking about how wonderful it is. Um, Pepe breakout coming. Anytime you've bought a mean coin, whether it's Doge or something, if you've ever sold it, guess what? You're taking someone else's money. That is the way it works. If you've ever traded options, you know, options to buy now. Let's do this. Uh, look at all these new faces. Buy now. I mean, the audacity. How could he? Beheza. Um, so I, I'm doing this, guys, sort of because the, the fake virtue signaling has to stop or, or the selective outrage, okay, on, oh, this guy's bad, but the other ones are good. We, we, you have to get smarter than that because when you do that, you're revealing your cognitive development and it looks really bad on you. Nobody that I know that's educated honestly is res re gets emotionally res responsive to stupid comments that aren't based in fact. For me, I have to look at myself in the mirror every night and ask myself, who am I? You know, that to me is the opinion that matters most. And obviously family and friends, people that know me. I just did an interview with a, a group. They invited me on and they said, why do you talk about these projects that have high risk? And, and, and honestly, you should go listen to that interview. Um, I said, well, I named my channel The FUD Farm because I feel like there needed to be a channel that off balances all the moon boys out there, all the people that tell you how great things are gonna be if you get in this with your capital, we're gonna go to the moon. I wanted to be a guy that says, hey, it's fine if you wanna gamble in this crypto space, because that's really what it is. Without regulation, and it's, you know, the, every government body is freaking confused all around the world on what crypto is commodity security they'll call it a speculative asset yet it's not deemed an asset class so to borrow that word it seems a little weird um it's it's a confusing time it's a very gray area time so i look at it as like hey on friday night some people like going to their local casino playing slot machines some people do that digitally online with stake.com you'll see drake drake promotes stake.com can you imagine that he is luring vulnerable people into investing into slot machines, playing blackjack poker. How could Drake do this with a conscience? You know, it, see the fake outrage. You can do narratives however you want. But the important thing is to always emphasize the risk, the fear, the uncertainty, and the doubt. And I did that, and Mike did that. We made sure we did that with Goldbridge and with every project you'll find on this channel. That's the one consistent theme that you'll find. There is no moon boy talk on this channel. I will get into all sorts of plays, but the one thing I won't do is promote, endorse, or recommend, okay? So when some, you promote it, like, no, no, no. I, I'm documenting what I'm playing in. I, I am, you know, those words are junk drawer words. They mean a lot of things to a lot of people. But for me, you don't hear me say, I recommend you guys get into this before it's too late. Clip that. I don't do that. So this video's went way on long or way too long. 
but hopefully if you've given me the time, you've gotten a better and greater context of what's gone on. Now, I look forward to uh, the story, part two, part three, and I honestly hope that it doesn't just serve the YouTuber with views and you know it makes for a great story, but I honestly hope that through the investigative journalism that we end up with answers. It would be awesome to announce, hey guys, we got our withdrawals. This whole story wouldn't even be a story had Ted, the master trader, simply said, hey guys, we lost, we traded today, and we took a major loss, it's gone. You know what would happen? There'd be no story on the internet. It would be like all of these projects, PAM accounts that you're in. The, sometimes you take a gamble and it doesn't work out. In trading, that is often the outcome. Most people that trade lose money. Have you ever traded? Have you ever given your money to someone to trade? Have you ever heard a guru tell you to buy this option? It doesn't work out. This happens all the time, okay? No more fake virtue signaling. Everybody get your facts, tone it down a few, and uh, let's be careful not to clip people. Again, if you clip somebody, and if you see somebody clip someone, it drives a narrative. A clip without a context is a hit piece, and it serves to drive the narrative of the content creator. Be careful reading headlines. LeBron James bloodies ref. Make sure you read the story. That's all I ask. You can judge me however you would like. My job is to make sure I walk in integrity and transparency. You may disagree. You may not like that I play in the crypto space. There are people that think people like Elizabeth Warren thinks if you're part of Bitcoin, you're a part of money laundering. You're a part of a Ponzi. There are people that say Bitcoin is a Ponzi. I tend to say the US dollar is a Ponzi. They're the biggest scam artists, printing all sorts of money, adding that as a tax to common people and giving you a stimulus, making virtue signaling look like they're helping you when really we have to pay that thing back and more so. So none of this like the government is moral and the people in crypto are bad. Use your brain, everybody. There are systems at play here. It's your job to decipher through the noise, get the facts and determine uh, what truth is. That's what I'm working on, and that's why to this day, I'll remain hopeful for our Gold Bridge members that one day we might get those withdrawals. They're all sitting in trader's domain. We have no control over that. That's up to Ted and the people that be, and I hope that through the pressure of this YouTuber, again, use your platform for that, I love that, that we get answers. It would be wonderful to be made whole myself, as I've lost six figures, uh, my partner Mike's lost six figures, we haven't made any money on this. Um, we are not a sponsor. We have never spoken with Ted. Mike got told about this from his friend. Mike told me, I'm not going after Mike. Mike's not going after his friend. No, we all have brains here. This is just how life is sometimes. You take some L's, you take some wins. In the end, who are you? All right? You kind person, you loving person, you're going to let those things defeat you? I hope not. I'm not. I'm moving on with my life. Uh, doesn't mean I'm forgetting. I will do everything I can to help those. Um, and, and I cheer on this YouTuber. And I really do hope we get uh, down to the facts. All right, guys. Thank you. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And by the way, right now, in case you don't know, I am a part of... Uh, uh, or I just started buying stuff using crypto online and uh, I funded my card and right now if you don't have a credit card or a debit card to purchase things you might want to get in I've already been uh, telling people about this and you can see I've earned fourteen hundred fifty dollars in commissions again I'm freaking transparent right uh, 29 people signed up 107 people uh, signed up but they didn't fund it all you have to do is fund this with 50 you give 50, you get 50. It's a pretty amazing promotion, and it's a way that I buy stuff now on Amazon using crypto. So if you have a MetaMask, you live in the United States, uh, if you have any wallet actually, and you live in the United States, you got crypto, there's a free $50, okay? Um, I'm super excited about them, and I did an interview with the Spritz CEO, and we'll continue to do content like this. Uh, thanks for being here, and I love you guys. I really appreciate the love, support, kindness, and let's continue to uh, hopefully get to the bottom of this. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.